The NDB threat passing scheme was part of the government's stimulus package to drive the SME sector forward. But government funding was the biggest hindrance, as revealed by the acting managing director for National Development Bank, Moses Louis. With 5 million kina to kickstart the threat passing business scheme, NDB Investments Limited has chosen 250 applicants out of 4,000 that applied for the scheme. It is mainly to drive the SME sector forward by using reputable franchise companies to venture into businesses with Papua New Guineans between the ages of 25 and 45. decided to um, kickstart this program basically by using its own internal cash flow to establish this threat passing scheme. Uh, as I said, you know, there were over 4,000 applicants and the demand is, interest has been growing since. Acting Chief Executive Officer for NDB Investments Limited, Desmond Yaninen, who is no stranger to NDB having served various high positions, said of the 250 applicants, 50 each are from the four regions including NCD. He said they will forego six processes that will determine whether the applicants are fit to run a franchise company. After this examination, the uh, top 5% from each region will then be selected to go into training. Now this training will be to run the various franchise businesses that we will be bringing into Papua New Guinea. He further explained that there are several advantages of running franchise companies, such as Big Rooster, Brambies and Eagle Boys, just to name a few. He says it will avoid trial and error basis and customer market demand already exists, giving local businesses a heads up. After the six steps are completed, National Development Bank Investments Limited will train the top 5% successful applicants on the basics of running a franchise company followed by transfer of business titles. Bridget Komatep, National MTV News.